Do you ever find men attractive? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm, this is a little scary for me. I'm just gonna stick with the lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's Steph, and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed yet, check out some of the content. If you like it, please subscribe. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Steph Loves Love, y'all. We got some Chipotle tacos. I got three different kinds of tacos here. I really wanted to try that little hack with the sauce. I'll tell y'all about it when we get into the video. And we're gonna be answering some questions. Questions people wanna know about lesbians. Something like that. I don't know, y'all. Y'all see. Are you ready? Yes, you are, because I am. Let's get into the video. Alright, y'all. I have three tacos here. One is barbecue. I got I wanted to get three different kinds so that I can taste out this the, the soft pack with different meats. So I got the chicken al pastor, barbecue, barbacoa, not barbecue, um, and some fritas, y'all. Also have some some of this corn that I just found out I liked, hot salsa, verde, some chips, and then we gonna make the sauce. So I got the vinaigrette, this is the salad dressing. You need some? You need some? Oh. <laughs> and then you mix it with sour cream, y'all. So last time I feel like I put too much vinaigrette in mine, cause it was like super, like, I don't know. It was a lot for me. So I want to try it with less of the vinaigrette this time. I'm just going to put a little bit and see how I feel. It was good though. It was just a lot. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> she over here with the biggest burrito ever in life, y'all. Y'all know how Chipotle lady doing. My man, hook me up. I got beans, cheese, and lettuce on each taco. And then personally, I like this. I like the hot sauce. I feel like I want to try that one last because mm, that's just my favorite meat. The barbacoa. What's, what's your favorite meat from Chipotle? The barbacoa. Is that hot sauce hot? Mm -hmm. mm. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. It's hot though. Mm -hmm. The green isn't. You want this? So I just have some questions y'all that I guess straight people would ask. The lesbian basically. Y'all be asking some dumb shit sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. But we gonna answer. <laughs> we gonna answer some no offense. But we're going to answer some of them. Okay, so this is so free to, I feel like I'm going to like this one the least, so I'm going to eat it first. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Did they change their so free to? That's pretty <laughs> fucking good. Oh, maybe it's this sauce. <laughs> That's sauce. Mm. It's the sauce. That's actually really good. What you getting your burrito? Meat, beans, cheese, and rice. Why not even ask? <laughs> or if not. <laughs> that is your order, him. That's all you need. You want to try it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank Look you at this shit, y'all. <laughs> we'll put it over here. You know they be bad because I'm touching my food a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be real mad that I touch it. And I'm about to get lipstick all over it. That's fine. <laughs> you can put sauce on it. <laughs> See, she doesn't care. <laughs> I don't. Mm. This thing is bigger than your hand. It's good. Alright, so I'm gonna move on to. Ooh, that hot sauce is so hot. A little chicken. I'll try not to get like any salsa on this because the. Taco shells are so weak. I didn't want to get any salsa or sour cream, but they still falling apart. Thank you. When I get their tacos, I really want to have them put all the shit on the side and get the shells with nothing. So I can fill it up myself. When did you first know you were gay or liked girls? I'm going to I'm gonna answer to the kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Was it like somebody at school or are you saying that was the age? No, somebody in my family. You had a crush on somebody? Sheree. <laughs> she gonna be here blessing y'all. Come on. Sheree. Because when I look up at you right now, you kind of favor her. I was looking like, you kind of favor Sheree. Your name's Sheree? Mm -mm. Sheree. I don't think I had a crush on anybody specific at that young of age. Um, I started feeling like I had crushes on girls like maybe middle school. Yeah, um, elementary I didn't. Actually, one girl 
<laughs> some things kind of crossed my mind. <laughs> um, so I guess I did, but I don't know. I I really started to feel like middle school, and I really started like looking at girls and be like, all right. One girl had a big old booty, and she be watching this video, so I ain't gonna say your name. <laughs> but I have a crush on you. You don't know that. Your booty, girl. Her body was so nice. That was like so boyish of me mm -hmm. to be looking at a woman's body. <laughs> but I used to be like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> but I never thought, like during that time, I wasn't thinking I'm gay. Were you yeah. thinking you're gay? I was just thinking I like girls, I like kinda. Girls, and I think they're cute. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, honestly, I thought all girls thought about it. Did you like boys at that time? In general, yeah. Did you ever like to the boys? Yeah. Oh, okay. But not, I don't know, it was weird. Okay, it was weird? Because I didn't consider myself gay at that age, so I felt like I had to like boys, you know? Yeah. That's how I felt, too. I was like, everybody else was doing it, so. Right. <laughs> it's not hard to like a boy. It's hard to want to be romantic. You know what I mean? Like, I get along with guys, fine. So it would be like, oh, well, I like him. But then when it would be time to, like, do stuff, I would start to, like, be feel cringy. And be like, I don't want to be doing this with him. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, y'all chicken. I like the way you get that. That one to me, I don't know, I like the sofritas better. What is sofritas? I don't know. Some kind of meatless option. I don't know if it's tofu. Or what they used to make it with. Mm. I know what it is about this one. And I said this the last time I tried it. The al pastor is sweet. Mm. And then to me, this is a little sweet. So it's too much sweet for me. I don't like them <laughs> combined. Now, it tastes like a dessert taco. Mm -mm. It's probably good. <laughs> <I don't like laughs> it. Have you ever experienced homophobia? No. No? That's good. I feel like a lot of um, studs that I know always say yes to the answer. I feel like it's easier for me because you can't really tell. Mm -hmm. But I've experienced it. I can't say no exactly. I have experienced it being around the person I'm with. And it'll be like a guy. Like I've heard people like mumble under their breath stuff about like why well, I can't believe two girls you know what I mean yeah. are together I've only had this happen from black older black men <laughs> mm -hmm. probably was mad <laughs> <laughs> most people think I'm a guy anyways I saw him so <laughs> I probably think you know, like, that's her boyfriend yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you I feel, I feel like people will respect you more because you're tall <laughs> like, I really get that feeling when they be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Do you ever find men attractive? Oh, uh, yeah. I was looking at a guy on um, TV today. I was like, he's very handsome. Do I want to go date him? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I think that's a misconception that because you're gay, you can't find men attractive you know like no it's just that I don't want to ever be with one I don't have a desire to be with a man but I can look at somebody and be like oh they're handsome or even oh they have a great personality they did catch for somebody else you know what I mean but <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nothing from them no but if I see one I'm like oh he's handsome he's cute but that's as far as it goes okay I'm not gonna be like oh my god he's ugly just cause he's a man <laughs> 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 Would you date one for a year for ten million? And you gotta do everything. No, nope. I would. Just run me my ten mil. <laughs> one year? Shit. Yep, sure would. <laughs> I mean, this is a year out of my life. I mean, what? 
I don't know. I know y'all gonna be in the comments. I knew she was bisexual. No, I want my money. Huh? What you gonna do after that year? Take my money and go. <laughs> what you mean? Bye, sir. Boy, <laughs> 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 everybody that's straight. Would you date the same sex for a year for ten million? Sorry, not everybody would. But I know a lot of people would. If I'm with somebody, I would get there. I'm not just gonna do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would I would see how they feel about it. But if I'm single, bitch, bye. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing anyway. Might as well <laughs> give me some money real quick. <laughs> 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 you not fool yet with that giant ass Maria? Hell no. <laughs> how your head feel? It's better. You don't see it in the green box? Thank you. Let me ask you something. This one? Mm -hmm. You don't? Oh, you didn't want? I thought you were. I made more. I made some. I did. Oh, okay. I ate it oh. But you might want some more of oh, this. This mine is like. Potent, might be like it. Okay, next question. This one is more for me. And this is something that people ask all the time. If you're attracted to somebody who presents as masculine, why don't you just go be with a man? People love to say that. Or they say that I'm bisexual. What is this? Another thing about the man uh, dating studs that they say. I can't remember what that is. <clears throat> um, studs aren't men <laughs> at all. <laughs> that's that. I think that's the problem that people don't understand. Just because a girl looks masculine or like you know they, they look more masculine than like a feminine girl, they have their own personalities just like every other human. So. All studs are different. All, everybody's different, period. Like, you can have... First of all, you can have a femme that's very masculine acting. You know what I mean? Very uh, dominant femme. And you can have a stud that's very submissive, very... Even feminine. I've dated a stud that was feminine. Other... Except for her looks. You know what I mean? Um, so, everybody's different. So, whoever I'm with, I'm attracted to their personality. Yes, their looks, because I do like boyish looking girls. It's just sexy and cute to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the visually, it's something I like. But as far as their personality, I have never been with dated a stud that acts like a man ever. I don't know what to say about that. I don't think I've ever been with anybody who wants to be a man, who does manly things. Um, I don't know. They have a little, they have something to them though. They don't be like feminine, but it's not a man though. I don't know how to explain it. If you're going to be a stud, why don't you just turn into a man? I guess that would be the question for a stud. <laughs> <laughs> <It's crazy>. <laughs> <laughs> would you date another stud for a year for a man, Timmy? No. Yo, awesome. What do you mean by that? You're not gonna have 10 million. <laughs> and you're not gonna know how bomb it is that just said. <laughs> no, Get your back broke out. What? I'm just <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Which one of you is the man that's stupid as fuck? I don't even know why anybody would ask that. Which one of you is the man? I've had people ask that. <laughs> I'll be like, what? This one we can't really answer, but this is a funny question too. How do you have Intimacy. <laughs> People really think it's limited, but it's really not. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, guys. <laughs> it ain't just what y'all see on the... They actually make it bad on, like, the adult films. Because that's not how people... That's not how, like, real lesbians do stuff. For the most part. I mean, I've seen some that seem real, but... Mm-mm. How do they do stuff? Huh? How do lesbians do? I ain't about to say that all day. Uh-uh. <laughs> ain't nothing they got business about me be doing. <laughs> <laughs> you want to find out, go find your lesbian and do it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you will not be going back home. <laughs> Would you date a bisexual girl? No. Why not? Because they always go back to men. Damn. They always go back to men? Are you saying they're going to cheat on you with the man? They might, yeah. That's what you think? Mm -hmm. You think they definitely would? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be 
on your ass in the comments. <laughs> they be like, I don't do that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say, no, I wouldn't. And it's not because I think that they would definitely do that. I would just feel like I couldn't fulfill them fully. Yeah. I would feel like that, even though I don't know if it's true or not. I'm sorry if it ain't true, but I would feel that way. I would be thinking she wants, you know what I'm saying? Or you want a man. I'm not a man at all. I don't even have, you know, I don't have masculine stuff about me. So I would feel like you would be missing something. My problem. But I could be wrong. I mean, I'm trying to be more open-minded about stuff. And I've been listening to people, like bisexual sexual women talk. And a lot of them say, it's not that they need everything at one time. It's just that they're open to either. So they can be with a woman and not be like, oh man, I, I need some masculine energy. Mm -hmm. They're happy with the woman that they're with. Or they can be with a man and feel the same way. I don't know, y'all. I'm just a little nervous because I be seeing other things. I hear what y'all saying, but I <laughs> see other things happening. You know, I see bi I see bisexual women with men and then they're out trying to have a girlfriend on the side or they want to do threesomes because they want they still want to be with a woman sometimes. And the other way around too. So I don't know. I'm this is a little scary for me. I'm just gonna stick with the lesbians. <laughs> Cause I'll be damned the bitch talking about you wanna bring a man in? Hell no. <laughs> I don't know about to watch some men ram you. All night long. <laughs> uh, uh, mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> Why are you hollering? Mm -mm. <laughs> Have you ever had anybody ask you anything? <laughs> this guy asked me, do I wait to put my on when I get there or do I wait on the way over? That's actually a good question. <laughs> For real. I mean, I think a lot of um, studs do it different. I, mean, I don't think there's one way to do it. Um, have you ever just had born it? Mm -hmm. Had it ready? Yeah. What is your preference? I don't have one. Oh. Yeah, it's about her. She wanted it as soon as I hit the door, I don't know where over there. <laughs> I would prefer to put it on. I don't want you to have it. <laughs> Unless we just was like, we're going to do something crazy today and you won't, like wore it out. Mm -hmm. But, like, I wouldn't. I don't know, I'm trying to do some stuff and it ain't going now. You know what I'm saying? So, I need it to be off until we decide we're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you walking around with this shit <laughs> dangling. <laughs> so, you've never approached a girl? Ever? Like, out? No. For real? How you end up dating people? We end up just some of it playing basketball. Oh, Are you with me? <laughs> <laughs> I need to start playing that one. <laughs> gonna start playing basketball. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we'll meet and we'll just vibe, and then we end up changing numbers. But I never want to be like, like, hey, I'm interested, or well, I don't even know what to say. So no, I, mm -mm. I don't like rejection. So that's one reason. Two, I don't know what to say. I don't really have game like that. It's not one of my strengths. Now let me choose. See, I didn't really get a choose. Show didn't. <laughs> she don't even. I mean, didn't even start to say nothing after we exchanged numbers. And we not numbers. We exchanged uh, Instagrams. Wasn't even flirting in the DMs. I was like, <laughs> you want me to say something? I was thinking. I, I was say it though. <laughs> <laughs> You want a big one. And that's all it is. You, you left me on red. Did you forget that? On this <laughs> so let's talk about that. When I did finally say something, you left me on red. What'd you say? About how, did you say something about you need to meet a sweet Sagittarius? Oh. And I was like, oh, you already met one. And he was like, red? Didn't say nothing. Because I knew what that was. That was something. Now that had finally been something that was like something. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I, right. I couldn't. I, at that time, I couldn't start flirting. So I, was like, mm -hmm. I ain't saying them. Why would you want someone to flirt with you if at that time you couldn't even flirt? You right. <laughs> you right. Cause that would've been bad. 
Everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. Yeah. And I'm glad it didn't. I'm glad we didn't try to talk earlier. Because that would have been very messy. <laughs> that would have been a big mess. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Y'all should have asked y'all questions. Y'all probably have a whole bunch of them. If you want to ask something, put it in the comments below. We'll do it next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Steph Loves Love, y'all. And follow my vlog channel. Link is in the description below. Until next time, only get vibes. Peace. I'm surprised I managed to keep up with the way I did with COVID. That, that day that we did all the videos, that shit saved my ass. What? Remember that day we did like three videos? Mm -hmm. That saved me. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Thank you. What's hard to leave? How many times you gonna say that? <laughs> Later. You ain't even tell me. Late. Like midnight. So. Is that okay with you? Midnight is okay? Is this trash, baby? Mm hmm. What's wrong? You sad? Cause I'm gonna have to go on? Babe, I'll be back tomorrow. We're not coming back tomorrow. Why not? Cause you gotta do something on her. You know, what I tell you this morning, we just ain't bed. But he ain't doing it. Exactly. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking about yesterday. I mean, tomorrow. I wasn't thinking about Friday. So you okay now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>